In this paper, we studied older and younger adults' privacy decision makings and found that older adults are more likely to make their decisions based on privacy calculus. According to Census Bureau, older adults are individuals who are at least 65 years old. By 2030, 12% of the world's population will be older adults. Older adults may need more care compared to others. For example, they may need emotional care to prevent being isolated from the society. Or they may need medical attention and maybe someone to remind them to take their pills in the morning. There is a good news. Technology can help with many of these. For emotional care, there are social apps that can help older adults keep in touch with their loved ones. For medical care, there are apps which help older adults schedule their medicine consumption or remotely access to health practitioners. What if technology can be significantly beneficial for older adults? Then why older adults' tech usage is much below other populations? Some people argue that older adults fell behind past pace of technology and are just not tech savvy. We believe that this is not really the case. Instead, we believe this is technology's fault. Technology is not tailored to older adults and is not designed to be older adult friendly. Older adults' perspective is usually not being involved in designing stages of technology products while there are a different population compared to younger adults. Psychology research shows that older adults have a different thinking mechanism compared to younger adults. Older adults follow a model-based way of thinking, which is more of a goal-driven and economic decision-making style, while younger adults follow a model-free way of thinking, for which future rewards are less pronounced and is more of a heuristic approach. In this work, we study privacy decision-making process of older adults. Privacy concern is among top three reasons for older adults not using technology. Our research question is how privacy decision-making process for older adults is different than younger adults. To address this research question, we use two theoretical frameworks, privacy calculus, which argues that privacy decisions are rational and that individuals make a trade-off between the risks and benefits of disclosure when making the decision and a heuristic account, which argues that privacy decisions are not fully rational. To study older and younger adults' privacy decisions, we designed a financial recommendation app. The app claimed to give suggestions for users relating to their financial situations, for example, provide suggestions to increase their credit score and generate loan recommendations. The app claimed that users can increase the quality of recommendations by disclosing more data, such as their credit score and yearly income. In addition to measuring disclosure behavior, we also measured participants' perceptions of the sensitivity level of each of the data and the extent to which they think disclosing the data would improve the quality of recommendations. We also measured participants' trust to the app. Here is our result. One of the predictors of disclosure behavior is data sensitivity. Both younger and older adults were less likely to disclose sensitive data. The other predictor of disclosure was recommendation quality. However, this is only a predictor for older adults. When older adults believe disclosing their data will improve the recommendation quality, they will be more likely to disclose it. While younger adults' disclosure decision is merely based on the sensitivity level of the data, older adults' decision is closer to privacy calculus, which is based on a trade-off between the sensitivity and the benefits. Furthermore, trust predicted recommendation quality. Those who trust the app more believe that they will receive better recommendations by disclosing their data. For younger adults, trust was also a predictor of data sensitivity. When younger adults trust the app more, they believe that their data is less sensitive. This may be counterintuitive as sensitivity of a data is an inherent aspect of the data and it sounds like a heuristic decision making. We found that older adults make a better trade-off in their privacy decisions compared to younger adults. Our work refutes the deficit-based narrative against older adults' technology use and shows that they can even do better in privacy calculus. We discussed some practical suggestions in the paper. For example, apps should clearly communicate the risks and benefits of a product, especially when having older adult audience. However, more importantly, our goal is to help every population benefit from technology equally. This will not be achieved unless we change the practices in conducting scientific studies and developing new technologies. Our research should include a broader population, undergraduate psychology or business students, who are commonly used for scientific studies and app development are not a representative sample. We should embrace the entire population when designing technology and consider everyone's perspective, especially people who have historically been underrepresented in technology development, such as old adults, people of color, LGBTQ communities. If we act inclusive in all stages of research, design, and development, our technology will also be inclusive.